Hey hikers, Lee with Trailside Fitness, and today I want to talk to you about the three most common mistakes I see hikers make before they take off for their hike, like the Pacific Crest Trail. The first problem I see most hikers make is they feel like they need to get out and do some sort of cardio training, so they do the most obvious thing. They go for a jog, or they put the sneakers on, and they head out for a long run. The hikers don't need high intensity cardio, we don't need sprints, we don't need um, heavy run intervals. The most of the hiking that you do is gonna be at a comfortable pace. You can nose breathe, you can carry on a conversation. It's not very taxing. If our training is outside of that level, uh, then it's not really training the right system that we need as hikers to be able to hike comfortably and calmly. If you're new to uh, running and jogging, if you're coming off the couch, if this is kind of your first foray into any sort of training for a long distance trail, skip it all together and do this instead. First, do fartlek intervals while you're walking. There's also lots of work you can do with loaded pack walks, stairs, other types of tempo training. There are numerous options out there that have a far less risk of injury that are gonna be much more beneficial to you as a hiker. And you're gonna notice these activities translate much better to the trail than any sort of jogging or running. Another really common mistake I see hikers make as they prepare to head out on a long distance hike is training hikes themselves. It makes sense that if we're gonna go on a long distance hike, we wanna put our pack on and go out for a walk. Absolutely. However, most of us get this part of the training incredibly wrong. You need to slowly build up your distance and your pack weight at the same time. If you start with a heavy pack weight and you're not used to carrying that weight and you slowly are building up the miles, you're gonna set yourself up for overuse injuries like shin splints, plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, IT band syndrome, all sorts of issues. You wanna have a nice, consistent, measurable approach and progression each individual week. So maybe start out with a 20 pound pack or a 15 pound pack and five miles and then over the course of 12 weeks, you're adding maybe an extra couple of miles uh, each week. You're adding a couple of extra pounds to your pack each week. This is a much better approach than just putting on the pack what you intend to carry and then heading out trying to do the distance you're hoping to get to. Here's the other common mistake that I see hikers make as they prepare for their long distance hike. They don't do any weight training. What kind of weights do I use? What exercises do I need? Which areas of the body do I need to train? How often do I need to train? How heavy do I lift? There's a zillion different components that go into trying to determine uh, what a successful training program looks like for hiking. So we go to the gym. We do basic machines. We do some leg stuff because we know that's important. Uh, maybe we do some calves. Maybe we hop on the treadmill when we're done or the stair stepper. And every time you go into the gym, it's a little misguided or you're just kind of making it up as you go. And that's not really a great approach if you're looking to improve your hiking performance specifically. So what we need is every three to four weeks, some sort of progression in the exercises you've been doing. You should be doing those same exercises every three to four weeks. So you'll pick a series of exercises, be consistent with those for that, that training phase, and then make small adjustments. Add more time, add more repetitions, maybe add some tempo to it. Uh, maybe it's time to graduate from that movement to something uh, a little more challenging. So if you're doing box squats, remove the box, but continue doing the squats, for example. Uh, so these are some great simple examples that you can use to make sure that you're staying on track with your training and progressing properly.